you know what else this game kind of reminds me of? I know it doesn't make any sense, but this game kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Just the way that it's set up, like, it's a pseudo kind of um, RPG game. Uh, there's three characters, you can select who's in your party. Oh god. Yay! That was the first bonus I actually got. That thing is hideous. Normal feet. Can I stop getting hit by every single one of those? That would be awesome. This fills up your special, doesn't it? Or is that experience? I don't know, actually. That might be... I don't know what the hell those blue orbs are. I'm gonna assume it's experience. Because it didn't fill up anything else. How can I check my experience? Is there any way to check? No clue. Now, are we actually in Alabasta? Yeah, this looks like Alabasta. And Frankie wouldn't really know what Alabasta is, which is why I said that, I guess. Yeah, I guess this is a good way to, um, to do a game like this, is to have a bunch of areas from previous like, arcs of the show and the manga without actually just doing the arcs again. Because at this point, you know, I've played Pirate, Pirate Warriors 1 and 3. I'm a little sick of doing the same stuff over and over again. And then Burning Blood was just Marine for it again, so this is at least unique. In, in a way. It's new stories, but it's areas we've already been to. Cut. I don't know the stage action. Yes, I do. Yeah, I didn't. I just learn it. I don't know why I can't equip it though. I probably gotta wait till the end of the level, which is kind of dumb. Hey, losers. Overkill. Didn't even hit them. That was totally worth it. And maybe that's why this game's called Unlimited World Red. Because obviously the, the dude's name is Redfield, so that would be the red in the title, and Unlimited World would be like he can conjure up different worlds. I assume that's what it means. I don't know where I'm going, I just hope I'm going the right way. See, look at this. This is... I really like that I don't have to play as Luffy. Luffy's here, and I can play as him, but I don't have to. Like, I can play the level through as Zoro if I want to. When we get Nami, I'll probably play as Nami a bunch. Because Nami is my waifu. Now I'll use this. Break rush. Input all the commands that will be displayed to launch a break rush. You'll deal more damage to foes. You can knock them out too. Break rush is great for clearing out a bunch of foes. Interesting. So, why? Why, why? Oh, they give you the really easy one first. That's just all Y attacks. So now, break, I do more damage. I don't seem to be doing much of anything, like, differently. I like how I guarded that, but I still got hit by something. That's pretty cool. I guess that's a parry that I just did there. Where I, um... I countered it, and then, yeah, then if you hit directly afterwards, it looks like you can kind of parry them. Why 
Why are there so many people here? <laughs> Just fireball! There's still a guy. How is there still a guy? This dude is like the most difficult dude that we've ever fought. Oh my god, I bet your crocodile's not even this tough. Only giddy. So this has got to be where we have to go, right? もう、お前を殴るのに水はいらねえ。黒子だいる。よもしれ。さあ、思うぞ、ぶん。ギタン待ちを楽しもうじゃねえか。恋を麦わらの一味。砂漠の先輩。いや、I'll Although he does seem to kind of disappear a whole bunch, which can make him kind of annoying. No, he doesn't seem that bad. As long as you keep dodging and, and carrying him, he seems just fine. Oof. I don't like that at all. Yeah, the, the dodging is pretty good, actually. Although, yeah, that it doesn't look like you can actually do anything against, which is strange. Why would they give you a, a move that you can't do anything with? Alright, get him with this, get him with this! He's not on the screen, guys! Oh, that sucked. I hope he only has two life bars, but that doesn't seem how it's been so far. It seems to be three. Oh god, this is one of the worst camera angles I've ever seen in a game. I wonder if I could have parried that. That looked like a like a dumb Metal Gear Rising thing that could have happened. So that I could have just parried that. Yeah, it looks like he only has this one life bar left. Nope, he's got three. Also, this fight is way more interesting than anything in Pirate Warriors. No, I hate to keep bringing it up, but my god. And I, you know, I like those Musou games, but this is way more interesting than anything in there. Where'd he go? Dad? I'd like a free camera now, please. Because I can't really see what's going on, and I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Guard. Damn it, Zoro. Yeah, you know what? The bosses are actually pretty engaging in this game. I like it. I'm a fan of this game so far. Except for the fact that it's not quite as original a story as I would have hoped. I was hoping that it was going to be like completely new areas, completely new stuff, but so far it's just, you know, stuff that's already in the show. Which is kind of disappointing. That's not great. Let's wait for him to disappear again. And then we'll do... We'll do this now. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Beat his ass up! How did that not finish him?
Poor crocodile. Guy can never catch a break. I don't know if I skipped his dialogue or not. And I still don't know, like, in terms of the story, was that actually Crocodile? Or was that, like, a mirage, like a hallucination of Crocodile? Alright, so I can cut now and dig. Alright. Uh, Green Star Skull Bomb Grass is now available. Create Remedy. I assume he'll act like the little raccoon guy. He could probably heal you up. Which makes sense. <laughs> he, just, he looks dead inside. What have you done? Was that the C train? We do get to go to Water 7! Oh, it's gonna be awesome! Oh my god, dude, in the costumes, if Usopp doesn't have a Sniper King outfit. Okay. Damn it, really? How- none of these games have a Sniper King outfit. Not- none of the Pirate Warriors games has a Sniper King outfit. This game doesn't have a Sniper King outfit. What's the point of having Usopp as a playable character if there's no Sniper King outfit? <laughs>